SQL injection attack on buggy web application. So what we are going to take a look inside the video. First of all, we will learn about uh, how you can attack on a web application using SQL injection. And then I will explain you the process of SQL injection attack. So the setup is quite simple. Uh, we have already installed XAMPP server and uh, hosted Matilda inside it. So we are going to use the buggy web application which is Matilda and we will perform SQL injection attack on Matilda framework inside Kali Linux operating system. So first of all, uh, you need to open Kali Linux operating system and uh, open Matilda inside the browser. So here we are at Kali Linux operating system and uh, I have already opened the browser. Here you can see that uh, Matilda is already opened inside the Mozilla Firefox. So here in this buggy web application, I'm going to show you that how you can perform SQL injection attack on a web application. So this is the home page of the web application right which is Matili day so do one thing just select don't click on just go on OS 2017 then injection SQL then SQL extract data and then click on user info SQL so click on that here it is so you can see here that uh, here you can see that this is a login page uh, which is saying that please put the name and the password to login in the web page right you can see here we are not still we are not logged in in the website so as an attacker if I want to log in in the website and I don't have any account so how I can find out the username and the password of other users available on the website this is the case so to check that if a website or web application is vulnerable to SQL injection or not there is a simple method let me show you so on the login page do one thing just click inside and type simple apostrophe a single apostrophe you can see here right and after that you can click on view account details so let me click on that now nothing will show but if you come down then you can see there's an error coming from the server so let me show you the error here is the error this is the error part right so uh, you can see here that i can see the query here which is going from a browser to the web application right so uh, this should not be visible this is a kind of vulnerability in web application that it is showing the query to the users let's read out the query select star from accounts where username equal to this and password equal to this it is clearly showing that there is a table the name of the table is accounts right and uh, inside the table there are two columns at least two columns first is username and second is password so this is a kind of vulnerability in the web application that's why it is showing us uh, these entities so now it is selecting everything star means everything select everything from this table where username equal to when we will put the username and when we will put the password in the login page then this query will generate and it will go to the server and provide us the appropriate information got it so by using that query i can uh, basically use some cheat sheet of sql injection to log in, in the web page how i can use it let me show you so uh, i'm going to use one equal to one because one equal to one is always true right so i'm going to use that query in the name and the password so click on the name first of all first of all type apostrophe space then capital r space one equals to dash one why i put the dash before one you can see here if you come down then you can see there is an extra dash available at the end of the username right so you can see here i need to put an extra before one right now the same here dash space or space one equal to apostrophe one basically it is called apostrophe right you can also call it single quote but you can also call it apostrophe same thing in the name and the same thing in the password all right now you can click on account details and come down and here you can see that we got the username and the password of other users available on the website so you can see here why it happened 
because that was the malicious SQL query and uh, the web server is not able to detect it that uh, it is a harmful query or not and that's why it has provided all the information the query was demanding right so you can see here I can basically log in, in the admin account also because I have the username of the admin panel and the password is also available here right so by using SQL injection on login page you can perform this kind of attacks now I am not logged in right you can see so I can log in here by using admin and admin pass as the password so let me click on login right here you can type admin and admin pass is the password which we have found and you can click on login and here you can see that user authenticated and now I am logged in as admin in the website got it so uh, this is a simple information that I want to provide that uh, you can use this query in any website which contains SQL injection attack right and uh, then you can gather the each and every information from the database and then you can use it for another harmful purposes so this is a point of view regarding hackers and how hackers work and how hackers perform SQL injection attack on the websites right so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, in the next video we are going to learn about HTML injection attack on this particular web application thank you so much for your time